Welcome to day 38. Yesterday's notes. ICND2 cram. Today is EIGRP for IP version 6, alternatively known as EIGRP6. I wasn't sure whether to put this in the syllabus because Cisco, uh, up to the day I put the guide together, didn't mention EIGRP6, but they do say EIGRP. So my feeling is they won't be asking questions because they didn't specifically mention it. However, it just leaves me with another dilemma that they are being vague, giving them the leeway to uh, add it to the exam. So what I've done is I've added EIGRP P for IP version 6. It's a fairly short chapter in the guide, so it's probably worth reading, making some notes, understanding the differences. But if I just go further on, I'll look at an overview, look at the configuration. A lot of similarities, but a lot of differences. And there's one main difference in the configuration, which you'll see when you come to read the theory notes. Um, I reckon, so maybe dedicate 45 minutes roughly to this, look at the configuration commands. That leaves you another hour and a quarter to go through um, one of the previous lessons, probably ERGRP, and you'll be reviewing ERGRP 6 as you go on anyway in the uh, course. So once again, let me just go to the study guide. See, uh, Cisco say configure and verify ERGRP for a single AS, so that's all they mention about ERGRP. So in the guide, we talk about the difference between version 4 and version 6. Configuration commands, so pretty simple. I'm, I'm mixing in some IP version 6 addresses, obviously, because of the version of ERGRP, so it's worth you, you getting to study two things really at the same time. So, a pretty short chapter, only a few pages. Go through some exam style questions and then a hands on lab. That's all for today. I will see you tomorrow.